the Europa League is coming today, Thursday, the second of the Europa League. May, really to the point, when the semi-final round begins with the first plays. One of the two games does Olympique Marseille with Atlanta Bergamo. At 9 p.m. the duel starts, playing in the Orange Velodrome in Marseille. Marseille endured a penalty shootout against Benfica and narrowly avoided squandering a four-goal advantage against Villarreal to secure their place in the semifinals. Managed by Jean-Louis Gasset, who took over from Gennaro Gattuso during his dismissal from Ivory Coast duties during Mid-Africa Cup of Nations, Marseille, have reached the Europa League final on three occasions but have yet to claim the championship trophy. In their inaugural European semi-final appearance, Atlanta travels to the southern region of France for the opening leg of their match against Marseille on Thursday. Under Gian Piero Gasparini's leadership, Atlanta's impressive journey in the competition persists, highlighted by a surprising victory over Liverpool in the quarter-finals. The outcome remains highly unpredictable, allowing Atlanta to dare to dream of progressing to the final stage. The French top club secured its semi-final ticket with a close victory in penalty shootout via Benfica Lisbon. Atlanta, on the other hand, has reached its goal surprisingly quickly in its quarter-finals. Against Liverpool FC, the Serie A club won after finishing with 3-1. In parallel game, Bayer Leverkusen and as Rome meet at the same time. Meeting for the first time in European competition, Marseille and Atlanta BC will both seek a crucial first leg lead as they kick off their Europa League semi-final on Thursday. With the prize of playing either Roma or new German champions Bayer Leverkusen at stake, neither side can afford to give ground at the iconic state velodrome. Ultimately aiming to reach the final of either the Europa League, or its predecessor, the UEFA Cup, for a fourth time, Marseille have a rich tradition in continental competition, having lost in the 1999, 2004 and 2018 deciders after being crowned champions of Europe back in 1993. More recently, the French giants were eliminated by Feyenoord at this stage of the 2021-22 Europa Conference League, and they have now made it through to the season's Europa League semis in the most dramatic of circumstances. Burdened by a series of injuries and requiring academy players to fill in, Jean-Louis Gasset's side had suffered five straight defeats before taking on Benfica in the second leg of their quarter-final, but a 1-0 home win forced extra time, substitute Ferris Mumbagna's late header kept OM in it, and after 30 more goalless minutes, they eventually prevailed 4-2 on penalties. Shortly after being sacked mid-tournament by Afkin hosts Ivory Coast, Gasset stepped in to become Marseille's third manager of the season, after Marcelino and Gennaro Gattuso both failed to last the pace, and the veteran coach has succeeded in steadying the ship. The Mediterranean Coast Club have still not escaped choppy waters, though, as Sunday's 2-1 win over Lens was their first in six Ligue 1 games, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang's first-minute opener and Pape Guy's late goal kept them in the hunt for European qualification. Of course, Winning the Europa League would provide a route straight into next term's new look Champions League, but Atlanta stand in their way of making another final. Having won their last five home games in UEFA competition but struggled on the road, gaining a first leg advantage is surely essential ahead of next week's trip to Bergamo. Following Sunday's 2 0 win over Empoli, secured by a Mario Pasalic penalty and Adamola Lukman's second half strike, Atlanta have come out on top in 11 of their last 14 home matches across all competitions. As if that were not enough to concern Marseille ahead of the second leg, the Italian side are also unbeaten in nine European away matches as they prepare for their springtime sojourn to Provence. Latia have already made Europe sit up and take notice by beating Liverpool 3-0 at Anfield in the quarter-finals, so State Velodrome should not hold too many fears, in spite of its notorious reputation. After enduring a mid-season sticky spell, Atlanta have been on the up since their last 16 defeat of Sporting CP, and having just booked a place in the Coppa Italia final, they are also in the race to earn Champions League qualification via Serie A. Gian Piero Gasparini's men sit sixth in the standings with five games remaining, and Italy's top flight has already assured five places at Europe's top table for next season, 
partly thanks to Atlanta and Roma reaching the Europa League semi-finals and boosting their national coefficient. For all his previous achievements, Gasp would surely consider leading Latia out in their first European final the greatest, to date, the Bergamo club's biggest honour was winning the 1963 Coppa Italia, and they have now reached the semis of a UEFA tournament for just the second time. They could even meet domestic rivals Roma in Dublin, both teams are also battling out for that fifth spot in Serie A, and then become the first Italian team to lift the Europa League trophy. However, two tough games against Marseille must be negotiated before such dreams can be realised. While quarter-final hero Ferris Mumbagna returns from suspension, having been replaced by Illiman and Diaye against Lens last time out, Marseille must do without centre-back Samuel Jigot on Thursday evening, due to a one-match UEFA ban. Fellow defender Chancel Mbemba was recently ruled out for the next few weeks by a knee injury, and Jean-Louis Gasset's list of absentees remains lengthy, Quinton Merlin, ankle, and Ismail Asar, hamstring, are still sidelined, alongside Bamomite and Valentin Rongier, the latter pair are out for the rest of the season. The hosts can still call upon the Europa League's top assist makers Jonathan Kloss and Amin Harit, both of whom have set up six goals in the competition this term, plus the tournament's all-time and current top scorer, Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang, the Gabon striker has netted ten times en route to the semi-finals. Meanwhile, Atlanta's top marksman in Europe this season is Gianluca Scamacca, five goals, and having recently starred in their Coppa Italia semi-final win over Fiorentina, he will battle it out for selection with Charles de Quitalera, Adamola Lukman, and El Bilal Turi up front. The visitors also have one player suspended for the first leg, and Isaac Hines' enforced absence should see Seed Kolasinac regain his place in Gian Piero Gasparini's back three. Italy international Giorgio Scalvini returned to the lineup last weekend, after recovering from a hamstring problem, and will also feature in Lotti's defence, however, Emil Holm and Rafael Toloi are still unavailable. Marseille and Atlanta meet in their UEFA Europa League semi-final first leg on Thursday May 2. The two teams are meeting for the first time in UEFA club competition, with Marseille hoping to reach the final of the UEFA Cup slash Europa League for a fourth time, having lost in the 1999, 2004 and 2018 deciders, all without scoring. They made it past Benfica on penalties in the quarter-finals despite being beset by injuries, and boast the competition's all-time and current top scorer in Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. However, they have won only one of their last five home games against Italian sides, D1L3. Gian Piero Gasparini's Atlanta produced a masterful away performance in the quarterfinals, beating competition favourites Liverpool 3 0 at Anfield, and the Bergamo outfit are dreaming of a first ever European final. To date, their biggest honour has been winning the 1962 63 Coppa Italia. Their only previous game in France ended in a 1 1 draw at Lyon in the 2017 18 Europa League group stage. A similar result in front of OM's passionate home fans might be very handy indeed. Predicted line UPS. Marseille, Lopez, Klaus, Murillo, Mbemba, Ballardy, Luis Enrique, Harit, Condogbia, Viertout, Sar, Aubameyang. Suspended, Samuel Jigot. Atlanta, Musso, Jimzatai, Scalvini, Kolasinac, Haitbor, Darun, Ederson, Ruggeri, Coop Miners, Pasalik, Skamaka. Suspended, Isaac Hein. Jean-Louis Gasset, Marseille coach, there are lots of good players in the academy and we are going to use some of them between now and the end of the season. Those five defeats in a row before the quarter-final win against Benfica included European games against Villarreal and Benfica, but when you play a two-legged European tie, the only thing that counts is whether you qualify. Gian Piero Gasparini, Atlanta coach, we care about winning something, but seeing the unity of these lads is a prize as well. At halftime against Liverpool, I asked them if they wanted to drop back a bit and defend deeper if they were feeling the pressure, but they said absolutely not. That is like a trophy for me because it means they think like me. 
first ever European encounter with the French outfit. Bound to cross swords with French side Olympique de Marseille in the 2023-2024 UEFA Europa League semifinals, Atlanta will tread the Orange Velodrome Stadium in Marseille in the first leg game scheduled for Thursday, May 2, at 2100 hours cest before hosting the Phocians to the Jua Stadium in Bergamo one week later. While it's the first European matchup between the two sides, Olympique Marseille will be the third French outfit to ever cross swords with the Nerazzurri in an international competition after the likes of Olympique Lyonnais, back in the 2017-18 UEFA Europa League group stage, and PSG in the 2019-20 UEFA Champions League quarterfinals. One of the most awarded teams in France, Olympique de Marseille are the only Gallian team to have ever lifted the Champions League in 1993. Trained by Jean-Louis Gasset, the French coach joined the Olympics sideline last February after his stint as caretaker of the Ivorian national side. As for their current UEFA Europa League run, having Olympique de Marseille closed the group stage as Group B's runners-up on 11 points, as a result of three wins, two draws, and one loss, the French side made it to the RO16 upon defeating Shakhtar Donetsk in the knockout stage, while the first leg culminated in a 2-2 draw, the Marseille side ran out 3-1 winners in the return game. Les Minutes then defeated Villarreal in the round of 16, losing 3-1 in the second leg after defeating the Spanish side 4-0 in the reverse game, and Benfica in the quarterfinals, despite losing 2-1 in Lisbon, not only did the French outfit manage to turn the tie around with a 1-0 home win, but they also knocked out the Lisboeta side on penalties. On the grounds of the 26 goals scored, OM have the third best attacking line in the competition. Moving on to their current stance in the French Ligue 1, Olympique Marseille are currently 7th on 44 points after 31 games. On Sunday, the Olympians returned to winning ways after six league games by defeating Lens 2 to 1 at home. The team's best scorer is Pierre Emerick Aubameyang with 27 goals in all competitions, due to his 10 nets in the Ewell. The French Gabonian striker is the current top scorer of the competition. Thank you for watching this video.